Hey folks, welcome back. We're here for you again and bringing the coolest vibes of NBA for you all. When it was reported in late July that Serbian wing Marko Guduric was signing a two-year deal with the Grizzlies, it didn't really make a dent in the NBA news cycle. Until he signed his deal, Guduric was likely best known outside of Europe for going undrafted in the 2017 NBA draft, but since then he's become a solid, skilled player who seems like a low-risk, decent return signing for Memphis. Let's move forward with our video and have a look at the top 10 things you didn't know about Marko Guduric. So, let's begin. But before we proceed further, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do hit that subscribe button so that you won't be missing out on any future NBA content. Number 10. The birth and career. With the birth date of March 8, 1995, Marko Guduric grew up in Savina Zvezda youth teams and signed his first professional contract in April 2013. He played two seasons for the Kravina Zvezda development team FMP. On October 15, 2015, he made his EuroLeague debut against SIG Basket with 6 points, 4 assists, 3 rebounds and 4 steals. One of his best moments was against Real Madrid when he had a crucial dunk to get Srivina Svezka a plus 4 lead 1 minute before the end of the game on November 27, 2015. On July 14, 2017, Guduric signed a 4-year contract with the Turkish club Fenerbahce. In 2018-19 EuroLeague season, Guduric was amongst the most valuable roster pieces that brought Fenerbahce to their fifth consecutive Final Four appearance. On July 31, 2019, Guduric signed a multi-year contract with the Memphis Grizzlies. On October 23, 2019, Guduric made his debut in the NBA, coming off from the bench in a 101-120 loss to the Miami Heat with 9 points, 2 rebounds and 2 assists. Number 9 Didn't cost a lot Guduric didn't cost a lot. His deal is reportedly worth $5.3 million over two years and as reported by the Daily Memphian's Chris Harrington, fully guaranteed. The deal is part of the biannual exception, meaning it can't be used next year, which doesn't really matter since the Grizzlies are highly likely to be operating under the cap next season. Guduric's salary is really a drop in the bucket and when the deal expires ahead of the 2021-22 season, he'll be a restricted free agent. If he works out, the Grizzlies have an inside track at keeping him. If he doesn't, his contract won't be harmful dead money. This deal structure is just smart business for Memphis. That though wouldn't matter if Guduric wasn't good, but he is. At 6 foot 6 inches and 200 pounds, he has the size to play as a guard in the NBA and maybe as a free if the Grizzlies ever decide to go small. Number 8 Childhood of Terror when Marko Guduric returns to the remote mountain town Pridžbodj, where he was raised in Serbia, he no longer plays on the outdoor basketball courts that he used as a child. He cherishes his time off too, much to risk injury for the sake of nostalgia. But those long, often cold days on the hard courts in Pridžbodj define who Guduric is as he begins his NBA career with the Memphis Grizzlies. I would never change my childhood for anything, Guduric said. It was a childhood first marked by terror and then by a triumph that put Guduric on the path to the highest level of basketball. Guduric remembers hearing siren warnings that the planes and the bombs were coming. You have to go and hide in the basement just in case, Guduric said. NATO spent nearly three months in 1999 conducting airstrikes on Guduric's home country, then known as Yugoslavia. Innocent people died because of politics and whatever, Guduric said. That was my childhood. It was a difficult time, but I survived it. Courageous man he is. Number 7. Making Pridgebodge Proud Guduric knows the history of his hometown well. He knows that a few decades ago it was a manufacturing hub churning out vehicles for the military. My town was actually one of the richest towns, he said, but when Guduric returns to Pridgebodj now, he sees struggle. After the war, and we've had many wars, after that period everything just went bad, he said. So as Guduric emerges in the NBA, he is not only achieving a personal dream, he is hoping to be an inspiration. Number 6. Wrinkles to the game Guduric is not just a catch-and-shoot player. His best moments show a player who can do that but has wrinkles to his game that make him dangerous if teams lazily close out on him or lose track of him off-ball. He doesn't have an especially quick first step, but he's nimble enough to get off step-back threes, create some separation to take pull-up three-pointers, or use the threat of a shot to get to the rim. And when he drives, there are flashes of crafty handle that allows him to navigate the lane. 
When he's not going behind his back or going for a flashy move, his handle is tight enough to help him make up for his la to help make up for his lack of elite athleticism. It definitely seems like his handle is good enough to break down off balance NBA defenses and attack bad wing defenders who teams think can hide on him. Keep yourself tuned in as we discover five more amazing facts with you all. Hope you guys are enjoying the video and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, do it now in order to make sure you don't miss out on any future NBA content from now on. Number 5 Few steps to hit another level Gaduric numbers indicate that he doesn't get to the line enough to really maximize being an almost 90% free throw shooter. He will also have to better toe the line between hunting shots and ceding to teammates sometimes. He chases shots when being patient is the better play. His handle theoretically could mean he could rack up more assists to teammates, spotting up or cutting. But his numbers indicate that he's a little turnover prone, despite having a solid assist rate. This aspect of his game is maybe his best chance of hitting another level. Number 4 A Backup 2 Guard off the bench as a potential backup two guard, he spaces the floor and opens up the offense for playmakers like Tyus Jones and Kyle Anderson. As well as a rim runner like Brandon Clark, as a backup three, the role he mainly played in the Grizzlies' first preseason game, he was another shooter and playmaker alongside Grayson Allen and Bruno Caboclo. That gave Jones and presumably Clark the spacing to operate the offense. As a starter, he could be the beneficiary of an open kickout of J.A. Morant's drives or Jonas Valasinas and Jaron Jackson Jr.'s post-ups. His fit in Memphis's new-look offense is tantalizing, and we should expect to see plenty of Guduric. Number 3 Interesting fit. If Guduric works, he's an interesting fit around that Jar Morant, Jaron Jackson Jr. duo. Brandon Clark can definitely make this a trio. In Taylor Jenkins' offense, that is likely to prioritize spacing. He can provide that and some secondary creation. Along with free agent signing Tyrus Jones, he can prevent Morant from having to take on too much of a creation burden in year one. Even if he's technically a rookie, Guduric has played against the best competition outside of the NBA for the last four years. That counts for something. In terms of fit, a Morant, Melton, Guduric, Clark and Jackson Jr. seems like an interesting group to roll out next year when the journey is more important than the final results. Guduric could also provide a nice balance to Kyle Anderson's mid-range heavy game or run some pick and roll with Jackson Jr. Number 2 Steady Ball Handler Paired with his three-point shooting, he's also a steady ball handler that can create off the dribble and score inside the arc. With his high basketball IQ and this new free-flowing offense, Guduric could ease his way into becoming a solid secondary playmaker as he catches up to the speed of the NBA game. At 6'6", six six, he also seamlessly slides in either wing position without sacrificing much speed or size. Luckily in Memphis, he's going to have the opportunity to showcase his skill set. If Guduric catches fire and flashes that all-around game Kleiman was praising, he could be a major player in the rotation. Number 1 Three-point shooting his best skill is probably his three-point shooting. In 75 games across all competitions for the Turkish club Fenerbahce, he shot 41.2% from three on 3.56 attempts per game, per real GM. The season before, in 65 games for Fenerbahce, he shot 44.8% on 2.46 attempts per game, per real GM. After years and years of desperately pleading for a shooter, the Grizzlies fan base has received their wish. The Grizzlies finally have a dead-eye three-point shooter that's going to keep defenses honest and let it fly from deep. There's more to him than that though. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video and thumbs up if you've liked it. And do hit that subscribe button so that you won't be missing out on any interesting videos from now on.